Deepakti Express News brought to you by PE Live and sponsored by Deepakti Express Magazine, Africa's leading real estate publication. And the newest edition is up on our website, www.propertyexpress.org. So visit us for your copy today. Also, nominations are open for the African Housing Show 2023, happening on the 4th and 5th of November this year at the Wembley Stadium in London. Visit www.africanpropertyawards.com to nominate your organization for an award. Coming up in the headlines, the Rent Control Department received 20,080 complaints from tenants and property owners in 2022. Guta laws the government housing scheme in Pokwasi and in international news, Egypt's cabinet approves draft law on creating national real estate ID system. My name is Nanaya Ocherebia. <music>Control Department received 20,080 complaints from tenants and property owners in 2022. The Rent Control Department, RCD, received 20,080 complaints from tenants and property owners in 2022. According to the department's data, 16,124 of the complaints were resolved, while 1,819 remained pending resolution. The number of cases redrawn was 402, while those dismissed were 1,100 and those referred to court were 635. Landlords filed 10,712 of the total cases, while tenants filed 9,368. Regionally, the Greater Accra region led the way with 8,089 recorded cases, followed by the Ashanti and Central regions with 4,473 and 2,361 instances respectively. The Western region recorded 1,222, Eastern 1,673, Volta 754, Buno 473, Buno East 314 and Upper East 189. The Western North Region recorded 161 cases. The Northern Region had 126. And the Upper West Region received 120. I have reported 80. And OT had 45. In an interview with the Ghana News Agency, Mr. Imano Hove Kwasu, Public Relations Officer for RCD stated that most tenants and landlords are ignorant of their rights and obligations regarding rent issues. Moving on, in the news, Guta Law's government housing scheme in Pokwasi. The Ghana Union of Traders Association, Guta, has conveyed its appreciation to the government for inclusively considering its members in the Pokwasi housing scheme. On August 1st, President Kufuadu initiated a groundbreaking for an ambitious project consisting of 8,000 housing units on a vast 203-acre expanse on Pukwazi located within the Greater Accra region. The Ministry of Works and Housing, in collaboration with Guta, has incorporated traders into its affordable housing initiative tailored for individuals with low to middle incomes in the country. Expressing optimism about their prospect of owning homes, the traders have expressed their heartfelt gratitude to both financial institutions and real estate developers. These stakeholders have collaborated closely with the traders, enabling them to acquire homes and contributing significantly to the triumph of this housing scheme. Still in news, a report by the conversation indicates Ghana's housing market is plagued by inadequate regulation. The access to suitable housing is a fundamental entitlement of every human being. Nevertheless, a report by the conversation indicates that for numerous households across sub-Saharan Africa, this right remains an exclusive aspiration. In Ghana, for instance, where the government has estimated shortage of 1.8 million homes, moreover, a substantial number of households lack basic amenities. It added the housing market in Ghana is plagued by inadequate regulation. Landlords frequently demand exorbitant rent, often equivalent to two 
to five years worth of rent of advance, even for substandard accommodations. This places a considerable financial burden on both new and existing tenants, compelling them to save over seven months worth of income to meet these upfront or rental costs. The weight of unaffordable housing disproportionality affects individually across all income brackets. Please stay with us as we go for a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back from the break. Now, in international news, Egypt's cabinet on Wednesday approved a draft law to establish a national real estate ID system for properties to assist in government planning and development process. The cabinet said in a statement, the draft law proposes setting up a national real estate database that would designate each property with a unique identifier linked to Egypt's unified base map, the cabinet stated at it. The identifier will be determined by the Central Agency for Public Mobilization and Statistics in coordination with the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology as well as other relevant ministries and entities, the statement stated. That's all for news. Thank you for staying with us and a very big thank you to the Property Express magazine for sponsoring. For more news, kindly visit our website www.propertyexpress.org. You can also reach us on social media on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn at Property Express. This has been P Live. My name is Nanaya Ochoibia. Have a good day.